what if there would be an easy way to keep even your complex projects lightweighted and fast loading. Watch this. Hi. Perhaps you have experienced this too. Your project grows more and more, you insert more and more instruments, more FX plugins, more audio files. Not only that with many plugins your CPU slowly starts to sweat and your RAM gets closer to its limits, but the longer and longer it takes for the project to load. Even saving and closing projects take more and more time. Wouldn't it be all the more annoying when many of these plugins were just loaded for doing nothing? That would be a stupid situation right from the start. But doesn't this happen all the time? Rendering CPU heavy or RAM heavy stuff to audio as soon as possible is always good practice. Nevertheless, it's often not a good idea to delete instruments and FX afterwards as you might want or need to come back later to the live version for making changes. That means in FL Studio that we are keeping and loading all the time a bunch of plugins for just having some kind of backup of the live version after consolidation just in case we need to change something afterwards. We have a function to reduce CPU load with Smart Disable. But first, this is not working in every situation and secondly, this doesn't help us either in terms of higher RAM usage or with having to load many plugins unnecessarily. I have here two versions of a project. The first one like we are used to handle the situations. Loading all plugins, even the ones which are doing nothing anymore as I have them already consolidated. This takes nearly half a minute to load and takes nearly 11 of my 16 gigs of RAM. Now we load a cleaned version which loads just what we need. Nine seconds. Less than a gig of RAM. In my case, the problem was the amount of generators. As I said, I already consolidated them, but I wanted to keep them as a kind of backup. So how can I get rid of them without breaking this backup functionality? As long as this instrument wasn't automated, it's quite simple. Just drag the preset via the save preset as function to your project folder and replace the instrument by for example a MIDI out. The MIDI data stays in place, but instead of the VST, FL Studio just have to save and to load one of the most lightweighted plugins it got. Smart disabling isn't necessary either. If I need my backup later to change anything I consolidated, I can simply drag it back onto the generator GUI or onto the name button in the channel rack. This is the easy way. But we need a different method when it comes to plugins which are automated. Let's do automation for cutoff and resonance. If we do now the replace trick, we keep the MIDI intact. But the MIDI out plugin doesn't have the same parameters as Serum. The automation clips lose their target. When I drag again my safe preset onto the plugin GUI to load Serum again, the automation doesn't work anymore. I would have to recreate all the connections. What now? What about setting this up differently? You know I like Patcher, don't you? 
Let's delete the whole instrument track and make a new one with patcher. Let's go into the surface and create a few knobs. And rename them Macro 1 to 4. For you at home, you should perhaps go with 8 or more controls. Save this preset for later use, that you don't have to do this work over and over again. Now I load my serum into Patcher instead of putting it directly onto its own track. Let's go a step further and load an EQ and a compressor afterwards too. When using Patcher, there is no need to put them on separate mixer tracks. I wanted to automate cutoff and resonance. Again, I go a step further and want to automate the low cut of the EQ and the threshold from the compressor as well. So let's do it. I drag a cable from the node of Macro 1 and drop it onto the Serum icon. In the list, I chose the filter cutoff, which makes the connection. I repeat this step for the resonance. From Macro 3, I drag the cable onto the EQ and choose Band 1 frequency. Macro 4 goes to the compressor threshold. The four macro knobs now control all of these parameters of my plugins. Perhaps it's a good idea to name them properly, that I know later which controls what, and set the values to what I like. I activate the macro knobs and create automation clips for them. The automation works like before. Instead of saving the preset of Serum, I now save the preset of my patcher. If I want to get rid of the plugins, as I have consolidated the needed part, I don't replace the patcher, but simply delete the plugins inside. An empty patcher you will not recognize either in CPU and RAM usage or for loading or saving a project. You can have hundreds of them without even noticing them. Let's see what happens when I drag now back again my backup onto the patcher instance. Everything restores as I left it and the automation works too. Perfect. This is what I want. After consolidation, I don't have to bother with all these issues anymore. CPU usage is nearly at 0% without activating Smart Disable and all its workarounds. My RAM usage is less and saving and loading even the most complex projects work much faster now. But I can easily go back to any previous state within seconds by a one simple drag and drop operation. Enjoy Freezing 2.0 And thank you for watching.